Hello, this is Penny from Milton Anglican. And on the 2nd of May, we celebrate World Labyrinth Day. So I thought I'd show you how to make a simple chalked labyrinth just on a little bit of your patio, perhaps in your backyard. Uh, I actually put out uh, a fabric labyrinth in the backyard this afternoon, um, ready to walk. Uh, and now I'm just going to show you the simplest way to make a labyrinth from chalk. So, what you need to do is to begin by chalking across. And then you're going to make four little corners, just like this. And this will make the width of your path. Now, of course, this little path is only a hand's width. So you're not going to be able to walk it with your feet, but you might be able to trace it with your hand. So you make the four corner pieces, just like four little window frames, really. And then you need four dots, one in each corner, just like this. I was making it on the ground with some fabric. I marked those points with something like a tennis ball. That pattern there is sometimes called the seed pattern and you can find it elsewhere on the internet. But this is the wonderful bit. You begin at the top of the cross and you're going to draw from the top of the cross and join up to the next thing to the right which is just over here. And this will mark the centre of your labyrinth. So from the top of your cross to the next thing to the right. And there's the center of the labyrinth. Then you're going to keep moving towards the left and take the next thing to the left and join it to the next thing to the right, which is the first of your dots. So we're going to join round like this. Then you're going to go to the next dot and join it to the next thing to the right, which is this arm here. So from the dot, all the way around and join it up. And you can see that already we have two circuits of our labyrinth. We're making a classic seven circuit labyrinth. So I'm going to move to the next thing to the left and it's going to join to the next to the right which is the arm of the cross here. And we're just going to make a big circle around like this. It doesn't matter if it's a little bit wobbly. And there we go, another circuit. And then we move to the next thing to the left, the arm of the cross. We're going to join it up over here. And as you can see, the circuits are getting a bit bigger. So you might need to make some wider sweeps with your chalk just to bring it round and join it up. We're very nearly there just two more circuits to go. From this arm, round to the dot. I think I've said that wrong. I think there's three more, but we'll keep. Making a wide circuit round here. And then we're going to go from this dot to this arm here. And as you can see, it doesn't matter. You need to take a few goes just to make the pathway clear. And probably in all, this labyrinth is going to be just a couple of meters or so square. So you don't need a big patio. There's a little bit of stick just in the way there. Always need to move the things out of the way of your labyrinthine path. You can round it off a little bit. So we're nearly there. We're just about to make the last circuit of our labyrinth, joining this end to this end with one final circuit. And very soon, 
we're going to be able to use this labyrinth as an aid for meditation. Because of course a labyrinth is an archetypal symbol that can be entered and walked. It can also be traced with a finger and it can be used to colour and to bring focus to your life of prayer and meditation. So here we have a simple chalk labyrinth all ready for World Labyrinth Day. I hope you enjoy making your own.